So here's what we're gonna be working with. We've got a 20 ounce cup. We've got our pouring art epoxy, part A and part B. This is FDA compliant, so it's safe to use on a cup that will come in contact with your customers or your lips or whoever you're making your fun cup for. Um, this is the U Little Liam Rose UV resin available on our website. All the links for the products will be listed in the description below. So if you guys wanna find them there, make it easy, it'll be there for you. We're gonna be using a straw. We've got our alcohol inks ready. This is Purple Twilight. This one is Celestial and this one is Stonewashed. Celestial is a opalescent, so it's really fun. It's got a shimmer to it. We're also gonna be using alcohol blending solution. We've got some dollar store little makeup foams. You can find these at any Dollar Tree dollar store. They're usually in the makeup department and you get a big bundle of them for a dollar. Um, and we're gonna be using some gold leafing. Um, you can see that here. Um, this is gonna be a really elegant, fun cup. Um, so let's just jump right in. I'm gonna put the epoxy off to the side because we do not need that right now. Um, or neither uh, do we need the gold leafing or the UV resin. What we're gonna start off working with um, is uh, the alcohol inks and the blending solution and our uh, sponges. So what we wanna do is we're gonna put some, oop, we're gonna get, ooh, get him unscrewed. He was screwed on there pretty tight. Um, we're gonna get him ready to go. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much saturate the sponge quite a bit. And we're gonna just kind of work that on to the tumbler. And blow it around. We're gonna keep adding some stone washed and then we're gonna come and add it up like this. And you can see where it builds up on the edge. It gives it a really cool texture. What the straw is doing is just drying it. You can really essentially just blow on it normally. Um, so we're just gonna go around the cup and add the ink in different spaces. I did some playing with this cup down here. You'll see, I've got a little something. I was practicing on this cup, something else. So you can see as I go in there, I'm kind of pushing the ink in and making a nice, really cool like zone where they blend and bump into each other. And it builds up and gives it a really cool finish. Okay, we're gonna keep working our way around the cup, drying it as we go. You'll see this will just kind of blend that spot in where I've already played with the cup. I've got a ballerina cup I'm gonna do for you guys. So if that tutorial is not already out, it should be coming out soon. Look for my little ballerina drip. Keep on, keep it on. Again, this color is called Stonewash.
Now, if you have an alcohol ink dauber, this works. You can use this uh, that dauber just the same way. I'm just trying to show an inexpensive option. I have a dauber. You guys have seen me use it in different tutorials. Um, but then again, this one I'm trying to show specifically how to use um, this, keep it as inexpensive as possible. You can do this exact same technique with homemade um, alcohol inks as well. So keep that in mind. This does not have to be done with just these uh, store bots. Okay, we're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna start working with Celestial. Put his cap on, give him a little shake real quick. Make sure his pearlescence is all stirred up and we're gonna start adding him in. The, the blending solution will be when we start adding the purple because we don't want a big purple blob. We, want to, we are trying to keep this as uh, just soft colored as possible. So you can see the beautiful opalescence of this coming in. Gonna put it all to the, all to the outside corners. And I love how soft the tones are on this one. And then the, the pearlescence of the pearlescent uh, ink just gives it just a tiny hint of shimmer which just adds that little bit of elegance and again just keep pushing in rotating so you don't get straight lines Filling in the space. Beautiful, and don't forget the butt. We'll go ahead and just do the butt in all this beautiful shininess. Okay, so we're actually gonna now um, change up and we're gonna move to the purple and work with the blending solution. So we're gonna, I love the ink, um, the opalescence. So we're gonna leave that and keep working with the same uh, sponge, but we're going to start adding the purple mainly to the edges. And the purple is relatively dark, so we're going to add some blending solution. So it softens it up just a touch. We'll test it on the bottom, and there you see it comes in just a little bit darker. 
and that's what we want in just a few spots. Just a smidge of purple in just a few little spots. We don't want it to overwhelm the cup. I want to keep this cup very subtle and soft, but I like the depth and texture of just a few of the darker colors with it. So that is why we're just kind of going in here and adding a little bit here and there. Let's add one little bit more here and then we'll let this be done. All right, so now we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that sponge away so we don't make a big mess. I'm gonna let this sit for about an hour in front of a fan. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can see the opalescence is coming through beautifully. Um, the inks have set very, very well. Um, the, the darker purple is giving it that beautiful accent um, where there's a lot of already depth and texture, but we're gonna go in and add a bit more um, in just a bit. So we're gonna let this sit for about an hour. Then I'm gonna clear coat spray it with a gentle clear coat spray. Make sure everything stays intact we don't want to smudge any of these beautiful inks and we'll be back soon guys all right so we are now back and we have our UV lamp ready we have our Lillian Rose UV resin ready to go and we have our uh, foil um, I actually landed and decided to use purple um, instead of gold so we have gold purple foil um, again the link for this will it's in our Amazon store the link will be in the description below if you guys want to get the foil it comes in this giant pack you get all sorts of colors gold um, different colors of gold rose gold silver champagne champagne gold red green blue pink purple and peach purple you get all kinds of colors of these and you got a lot to work with so it'll last you forever um, I do a lot of work with um, the these uh, fun different colored uh, sheets of metallics so we are going to lay these fl flakes down very very carefully um, and just have a lot of fun with them i'm going to be using our silicone tools to apply them so already you can see how delicate they are one's already stuck to my finger and um, what we do is uh, we do adjust a drop of the uv resin this is grab the uv resin that's not open sorry we want to use just a little dab of UV resin, kind of move it around where we want the flake to go. And then we just kind of let the flake fall in place on it. The flaking is very delicate as you can see, so it's very easy to pull off the sheet. And then let it kind of crinkle up onto where you put the UV resin. And again, this just gives your cup a little bit more texture. It just adds a little bit more elegance to your cup. Um, and it's just, again, just depth to the cup. We're gonna add, we can add right along. I just like to add kind of like along the lines. I just get just a little bit, rub it in pretty good, get it up in the area, and then touch. See, all you have to do is touch the tool down to it and go ahead and get it. We've got a nice big piece that time. Lay it down, we're nice and proper, right on the cup. There we go. 
And then once we get to that beautiful point, I'm gonna put the cap back on my UV resin and we're gonna put our light. This is a UV resin um, light and we're gonna put, let it cure. So the UV resin cures underneath the UV light. You can do this in the sunlight. Um, it does take a little bit longer. This takes just a few seconds to harden underneath this UV light. And then I can rotate. I'm using silicone stir sticks and then I can rotate and start working on a different section and I use the stir sticks to hold it in place. So you can see we'll go maybe right up here. We'll add one a little speck up here. And again, this is just for fun depth and texture. Right, cure that one. The reason I cure it um, and I use UV resin is so that it is solid when I put it under the epoxy. It doesn't go wandering around the cup. Once it's um, been cured by the UV resin, it stays in place and um, it won't uh, break off and get loosened up by the epoxy. Do a little bit down at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna finish this uh, out going all the way around the tumbler and uh, we will be right back. All right, so now we've got this cup. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous with the finish with the beautiful um, gold leaf flake on there. I guess it should say purple leaf flake. Um, we are going to now put that all under epoxy. Now, if you've never seen one of these epoxy tumblers down before, we mix epoxy part A and part B and we use FDA compliant resin. Uh, on, especially on the tumblers because um, there's a chance that uh, a person's mouth will come in contact with the cup and you just want to make sure that what you're putting on the cup is safe for them to drink out of and use. Um, so we have our own brand, Lily and Rose. Uh, you can find it on our website, like I said. Um, um, we measure it out uh, equal parts by weight. So we use a little kitchen scale just like this. And I use medicine cups, small little measuring medicine cups that look like this. Um, and I do it in grams. Uh, so for this cup, I will probably do about 23 grams total for this first coat. And uh, I'm gonna get that mixed up and we'll get to applying. All right, so we've got the epoxy mix and we are ready to apply. I'm wearing my proper uh, PPE gear. I've got a VOC chemical respirator on. Um, I am wearing nitrile gloves. I'm sorry about the noise in the back, you guys. Uh, 
My team is packing glitter like crazy, uh, getting ready for swag bags to go out. Um, so that's what the noise is. You hear them cleaning out the glitter machines um, and prepping for the next color. So <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, but we're gonna just keep on rolling here uh, and I'm gonna keep on teaching you guys fun stuff. So we put mixed part A and part B of Little Lee and Rose Epoxy and now we're gonna just gently apply it. You can use a applicator brush, especially if you have a sensitivity to epoxy. I'm using my finger because I wanna be very, very gentle over the top of this um, uh, flake in case there is some of the flake that did not get sealed down with the uh, epoxy the UV resin. I don't want to break it off and have it float all over the cup. Um, I want to be very gentle as I apply my epoxy. So, um, but you can be gentle with the, the uh, spatula, the uh, silicone brush, but here I'm just preferring to go ahead and use my finger. You see, if you guys watch, if you're regular to my show, you guys know that I do it both ways. See, there's a little piece that broke off. So I will go in and collect that and take that off. There we go. So we're just gently getting it covered. Again, remember Little Lee and Rosie Poxy does not like a lot of heat, so you don't need to do a big torching on it. Um, just do a tiny little torching if you see a bubble here or there. But again, it is already anti-bubble residue uh, uh, glue, so you don't, you probably won't see too many micro bubbles or bubbling um, with this epoxy. Uh, and give it a minute before you even torch it. But remember, if you do torch it, don't over torch it because that will actually cause fish eyes. Um, if you do too much, there's a very happy medium, just a tiny little touch, keep it happy. All right, so we've got the butt. Uh, all epoxy. We're just going to kind of now watch it and apply. If there's a little area that got missed, there's a little spot right there. We're just kind of keeping an eye on the edges. So coming up, there's a little spot right here. There's a little spot right there. Just going in. Um, I get asked a lot how I keep the epoxy from going inside my tumblers. Um, one, it's, it's a self leveling tumbler, uh, epoxy. So as long as I don't actually push it inside, it won't go inside. Um, and two, if, if I do happen to get some in there, um, I just use a hot knife to get it out or acetone. Again, I'm sorry about the noise back. I'm going to go ahead and use all of this epoxy. Um, it's, we've got a little extra here, as you can see, but we'll give it, put a nice coating on because I just have that little bit extra, no, no use letting it go to waste. We'll get a nice smooth surface. Now essentially this cup would be done probably with this coat because this is a slightly thicker epoxy and we did a heavy coat, which would be like what is called a flood coat. Uh, but most likely someone's gonna see this cup and want it and we'll end up putting their name on it. Um, or I will uh, send this with all of our, I'll put a cute little nurse, NICU nurse, uh, something on it for a NICU nurse and send this to our NICU nurse uh, nonprofit charity and a nurse that works in the NICU will receive it and probably love it. So there we go. So I can see uh, there's a few little bubbles here and there, but I'm going to let it rotate a couple times um, and see if those bubbles work themselves out. Um, a lot of them do actually just surface and disappear by the time they've rolled back around. So I'm going to let them kind of go. Um, I will check back on it in about five minutes. Um, and, and if it needs it, I'll do a gentle torching. Um, if it doesn't, we're gonna just let it go until about probably tomorrow. I probably won't get back to this cup again today. Um, we'll add, uh, but like I said, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. All right, guys, we finished this absolutely gorgeous cup. You can see it came out so pretty. It's very, very simple. Um, it's very, very pretty. The little gold leafing or purple shiny leafing um, adds just that little bit of touch of texture that the cup needed. Um, this is an easy cup to have ready to go in your store um, if you're going to be doing um, any craft fairs or anything working like that. Um, or just to make quick little items to have for birthdays or anniversaries or just and it's great to have this as an item 
set and ready. So if you somebody needs a last minute gift, you can just quickly put a name on it and one layer of epoxy and let it cure and send it out. Um, so like I said, this is a very easy one. Um, alcohol, alcohol inks, you can also do this with your homemade alcohol inks. Um, but like I said, it's super fun. You don't need to add these little gold touches if you want. Do it your own way. You can use uh, glitter instead of gold leafing um, to add the little bits and pieces. Um, but I hope you guys learned something. This was really fun to make and we'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye guys.